You haven't quit yet because you haven't given me a verse. Uh, let me give you a good, I'm, I'm going to give you a verse right now. There's no rules, man. Let's get my glass off for this, bro. Go, go, go. Don't let me get naked, that <laughs> came, Jamaican. <laughs> that freestyle's coming out. I'm being serious, people. Just, you know what I mean? I'm just giving you a little snippet, you know what I mean? What's up then, JD viewers? It's your uncle Specs Gonzalez. I'm here at the JD Christmas advert. I ain't got a trim, but there's no rules because I'm with one of the greatest rappers this country's ever produced, and he's a good friend of mine. People, Koji Radical. Hello. What are you saying, my G? Good to see you, my bro. Always good, always Come good. Come on, man. Always good. I try. I missed you, man. I missed you too, man. How's it live show? Yeah? Yeah. Well, well, listen, listen, more to come. Yeah. I need you on stage next time. But well, listen, this show's Take the Crown. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you a little question. For example, I might say, who takes the crown as the best looking guy with glasses on? And you're gonna say Spets Gonzalez. Right, right, right. You're gonna right. write on this, right, and you're right. gonna stick on here and you're gonna explain why. All right, Koji, first question. Who takes the crown for the worst hairline in the game? Harry Pinero, let's go. In. You said it, you said it, let's go, let's go. Oh, let me get it for you, let me get it for you. Oh, no, no, I just allowed you. I was just checking to see you already. I allowed you, it was a joke. Oh, was it? Yeah, it ain't happening at all. Big up, Harry, man. No, I wasn't going to say Harry, I wasn't going to say Harry. You said it, I heard you. I didn't want to say Harry. Harry, I love you, I love you, I love you. All right, let's get into this. Who takes the crown as a collaborator who made you want to rewrite your verse? Oh, that's easy. Give me the, give me the thing. Oh, yeah, I keep going to have to go back, innit? Yeah, 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 I guess that's, that's very easy. Are you going to tell me you're just going to write it? Yeah, I'm just going to write it. All right, cool. I'm going to guess. I reckon this is KRS One. Nah. Oh, Gex! Yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah. it? Yeah, what yeah. What happened? Yeah. Talk to me. Or, mm -hmm. or, don't say Buster Rhymes. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. All right. What, either or one. Or Rich Free Two. Yeah, either one of them. Talk to me, what happened? With Gets, mm -hmm. Gets will just write the best thing you've ever heard mm. and casually go sit in a call like that, nothing's happened, yeah. And maybe say like this. And just, yeah, and just do this, right? Mm. So that immediately makes you go, I didn't go in. Mm. But Rich, yeah, Rich was the first camp I was ever involved in, first album camp I ever was ever in. And I remember I'm nervous as all hell, bro. Mm. Everyone's writing tunes, everyone's writing tunes, everyone's writing tunes. And I go to lay the verse that I originally wrote for a song that we got together called Color Purple. Mm -hmm. And bear in mind, Avelino's there, bear people are there. Legends, they're, they're very reactive. Mm -hmm. But I've come out the booth, nobody said a word, bro. Nobody said a word. I spent half the day writing that verse. <laughs> but I went back in and freestyled. Is it? Yeah, the verse that is on Color Purple, I was freestyling. So you was cornered? Yeah, I was cornered. I, I literally was rapping until I could look at and see Don's reacting. But Koji, at least you lot were like in the room. Like with me, it was like via email. So you know, like you put the verse first yeah. and, and then they, yeah. it gets emailed to sent the, over. Sent over. And then Tiny wait two to three yeah, weeks. He, yeah, he lays his verse and yeah. then the tune's ready and my verse is. Wait, so Tiny Temper's the one that made you rewrite your verse? Yeah, but that was back in the day. Oh, okay, back okay. in the day. But I don't tell no one, that's between me and you. Say less. Yeah? Pick <laughs> up, get to Rich Free 2. All right, next question. Who takes the crown as the rapper you think you'd push you the hardest in the booth? Who would push me the hardest in the booth? That's me. Little Sims. Little Sims. So, we'll go here. Little Sims. Absolutely. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. makes you want to just... Yeah, I watched her perform the other day mm. and every beat that came on, mm -hmm. I was like in the corner just mumbling to myself like, just trying to make sure I had a 16 just in case because the beats was too crazy. And then I was hearing her flow and I was like, this is too effortless. And I'm trying right now and I'm watching you perform. Do you know what I mean? I, I ain't even in the studio with you and I'm trying my hardest right now, I'm just in the crowd. See, this is why I have to quit music, man. I can't, when I see someone flowing, mm. You haven't quit yet because you haven't given me a verse. I'll give you a verse right now. I've got, I've got a tune coming out. Yeah? Yeah, man. Oh, nice. uh, let me give you a, I'm, I'm going to give you a verse right now. There's no rules, man. Let's take my glass off for this, man. Go on, go on. Don't let me get naked about small <laughs> cane, Jamaican. <laughs> that freestyle's coming out. I'm being serious, people. Just, you know what I mean? I'm just giving you a little snippet. You know what I mean? Who takes the crown as the collaborator who went the most left on a song with you? Most left? Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Most left, like, starts talking about animals in songs. Like, no, just... it's, not even, it's not even that, yeah. It's what she's known for. Mm. 
and what she delivered for me. And it's Tiana Major 9. Tiana, okay, I've never heard of her, you know? Tiana Major 9, she's incredible. She's from the UK, right. Grammy nominated, incredible singer, R&B songstress. Globally, I love R&B, you know. Talented to the max, she's the best in the world, right? Is it? But on the tune that we have on my album, mm -hmm. there's a song called Talking. She starts going in the booth like she's Khalees in 99. Oh, I, I hate you up so much right now. Right, bro. I hate you. Milkshake, literally, milkshake. Li literally, imagine the softest, sweetest singing voice walking into the booth and screaming. Like whenever I do it live, mosh pits galore. Do it now. Let, let me see if I'll do a mosh pit. Do it. Just, just give me a little. Give, just give me, just, just give me a small one. I'll do a mosh pit now. I well. can't because I don't is have the, the vocal. Yeah, just, is it? Yeah, but I'll give you the beat then. All right, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I moshing or are you moshing? I'm going to do a moshing. Let me give you the beat. Oh. I don't like this mosh, bro. Huh? Yeah, so not. there's rules in mosh pits? It's just, it's got to be more sturdy because someone will carry you, like you'll be gone, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I get it. You got to be sturdy. You got to firm it. Firm it. But then like throw shoulders while you're doing it. I'll do it. Yes, that's it. That's it. And clear your space. Clear, clear your space. Make sure. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm -mm. Yeah? No. Nah. Kind of. Nearly, nearly. I wear glasses. We do most fits differently. Who takes the crown for having the most BO ever? The one where you have to get the saw and the spray. That's rough. You have to even spray the car. That's rough. Spray outside the house. Um, chunks. Oh, nah. Oh. Chunks, chunks, chunks is a man that smells good. Okay. He cares about his sense. Um, who stinks? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I can't answer that. I allow you because that was that weren't on there. I was just checking. Is it? No, it weren't on there. It weren't on there. I can't answer that. All right. Who takes the crown as a collaborator who let you know you are ready for the elite table? Um, okay. I'll probably spelled that wrong. Michaela Cole. Michaela Cole. You know I thought you said. Michael Cole. Do you know who Michael Cole <laughs> is? He's a footballer. No. Who's that? Who's Michael Cole? He's a WWE commentator. Oh, yeah, I don't know that. Yeah, that's awesome. talking about him, bro. I don't know that. But no, Michaela Cole. Is it? Yes, I probably spelled that wrong if I did. Sorry, like, Michaela, no I apologise. There's no rules. There's no um, rules. She's so prolific to, I guess, this growth in UK talent when it comes to writing, film, just being yourself in general, that when she blessed me on one of my projects back in the day, I thought to myself, how the hell did I make that happen? And secondly, like, just very, very grateful. So, Michaela Cole. We got Michaela Cole, man. Yeah. Follow me, man, as well, man. I'm doing good things too. Who takes the crown as a collaborator who you never thought you'd get on a song? You can take your time with this, you know? Nah. You sure? Positive. Oh, just, oh, you, oh you got good mirrors. You yeah, always yeah, checking yeah, your mirrors. Yeah, yeah. That's always, good, man. Always, always. I tried to trick him there. <laughs> dun, there dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You know, you, you write like, I your writing is like numbers. Or is it yeah. my glasses? No, it's me. I is it? write like numbers. Khalees. Khalees? Yeah. I Funny hate... enough, Did... same I... tune. Khalees, Khalees jumped on that tune because of Tiana. All right, because you know, because I'm my uncle, I need to ask. Yeah. Are we talking about the Khalees? That... Yes. Milkshake bringing boys to the yard, Khalees, brother. You and Khalees was in the studio just like that. And you oh. didn't call me. Listen, you wasn't around that day, bro. Who takes the crown as the artist who did the most on a song with you that doesn't get enough respect? Okay. It's like the underrated ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, underrated ones. I know. But I rate everybody so highly. Ooh. Let me see this. Shea Universe. Shea Universe? Shea Universe. Is it so underrated? Not all. I think she's the best in the world. So in my world, mm -hmm. she's the most rated possible. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the fact that you don't know who she is right now mm -hmm. means she's underrated because everybody should know who she is because she's the best in the world. Does she follow me? I, I'll, I'll text her. Because I'm uncle, innit? I'll check. Maybe. Yeah. I, she definitely finds you funny. Is it? Yeah, yeah, 100. Who takes the crown as the live performer who made you think you might have to step your game up. Um, okay. I don't like it when people make me set my game up. I had a friend, P.K. Humble, he's made me set my game up, man. Is it? I was cruising. <laughs> but he, he doesn't take care of his feet and stuff. Oh, uh, they chewed? No, but fried. Wow. K. 
Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Twice though. Early on in my, my career, mm. I went to go see him at Brixton Electric. Yep. I think it's Brixton Electric. What's the one in Camden? No, Ballroom. 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 I went to see him at Ballroom. I thought the Ballroom was done. Yeah, I went to see him at Ballroom early on and he did this poem, yeah? And everybody stopped and knew the words to this poem and I was like, rah. Because at the time I was doing spoken word and I was like, man can actually do this, yeah? And then I saw him at Glastonbury, like recently. You went Glastonbury, didn't tell me as well? Yeah, I was at Glastonbury. Where was you? I can't believe I've, I've, been, I've been trying to go Glastonbury for years. Okay, next, next Glastonbury. Did you, did you stay in the tents? No, 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 in the hotel? We, we did it nice. So Kendrick Lamar just... Yeah, both times. Like Glastonbury, that was probably one of the greatest shows I've ever seen in my life. And the ballroom was one of the most inspiring shows I've ever seen in my life. All right, who takes the crown as the artist who is the most fun to be with in the studio? <laughs> you know that vibe, that one that just likes vibes. Yeah, that's just vibes. I think I know who it is. I think it's Getz. Because Getz can't stay still. Getz is no, always like just... No, you can't. You know what but I mean? Like, 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 something's wrong. The most fun mm. is, is... I'm trying to think of who makes me laugh the Jordy most. Jordy makes me laugh as well, because you're going in the corner and you're... Jordy is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Jordy. Yeah. Jordy's my answer for that. Is it Jordy? Yeah. But, but, but I'm saluting him anyway, because he's got a verse from me that's ridiculous, and it's not on road. Because all he wants to do is make tunes with Cheeks. And I love you, Cheeks. But come on, guys. Bust me a little. You heard piece. that, man. Come on, Jordy. Cheeks has been deported anyway, so he's going to have. Uh, oh, yeah, he's going to have to circle yes, back. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's all right. Big up Jordy and Cheeks, man. <laughs> Zwa. What you mean, you know? <laughs> yeah. He wears a nappy. No, it's on a one. Who takes the crown as the artist you would most like to tour the world with? Um, who's doing world tours? That's the question you got to ask. Who's actually going around the world? So when we're saying world tours, we're talking Australia. Yeah. Then South down to America, America. And to then Denmark. E. Then Toronto. E. To Kenya. Wow. World tour. We didn't say world. European. We said world. Burner boy. Burner boy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I prefer Burner boy or Whiskey. Do you know what it is? That's like saying, ah, oh, do you like Goku or Vegeta? They're both the same character with different eyebrows. Oh, you should give it with a boy and let's get it the same. Basically. All right, this is my favorite one. Who takes the crown with the worst swag? That's not on the card, bro. <laughs> That's <laughs> not on the card. Well, because you be, you're looking me up and down. I'm not looking today. All right, Koji, who takes the crown as the person you watch, listen to, and read when you're in writing mode. Okay. S P E C S. And I got. Mm, oh, I love writing, man. Yeah. I love that. writing. I was writing yesterday. Um, can I say the same person twice? Actually, no. I'm gonna change it. Yeah. Let's change it, man. Let's change, let's change it. it. Let's change it. Let's change it. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. Uh, it's very simple. It's K A. Kano. Legend. Mm -hmm. Legend, man. Yeah. I just saw him. I was trying to make eye contact with him, but he was looking behind me. We went on tour together. Is it? Yeah. Where? UK. It's bad. I love that coffee. I was like, it was probably one of the biggest learning experiences I've had watching someone perform actually. Is it? If it wasn't, if it wasn't Kendrick, it would have been Kano for that answer. Was you there when someone threw something and and then he got a patch? Because I see a patch on his head and stuff. Is it, is nah, that... that's, not, that's not how that happened. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Koji, come on, I need... I was, I was there, bro. So, oh, it's the style? Yes, yeah. Is it? Maybe. Oh, Koji just told me Kano was going full patch style. No, I didn't say that, you said that. <laughs> but... But... <laughs> <laughs> who takes the crown as the person behind the scenes who has guided you the most in your career? Um, you can say me. No. 2012, we go back. There you go. Your brother, what's yeah. his name? Michael. Big up Michael, man. Have I met him? Nah. Don't think so. Talk to me about Michael, man. Talk to me about him. <laughs> Michael, Michael will call you for a 10 minute conversation that will last two hours. Oh. <laughs> but, but in the process of that, mm. he's like, he's such a fan of music mm -hmm. that he'll break everything down for you in a way that just makes you feel charged up by the end of it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So I like, need him. For yeah. example, like, I didn't like Jay-Z's voice on... on uh, God did. Yeah, I didn't like it. Hold oh, did. Like okay, I get it. Billionaire? Okay. Yeah, but it's... more billionaires came out of Hove's crib. Right. Because Hove did. You know like that? 
but he told me he did it already. Right, last question. I was gonna throw in a, a tricky one. Mm -hmm. Who takes the crown as the person away from music in your life who has inspired you the most? Can I just do that then? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's my you brother. <laughs> so it twice? Yeah. Let me even correct this. Is it you? You Michael? You sure? Is that Michael? Michael, don't hide, is that you? Yeah. Where's his way? So you're putting Michael twice? Yeah. Can I, throw, can I give one more? One more question, because I don't, I don't, I don't, Michael, I'm going to put one, one more. All right, say this. Yeah? So who takes the crown for the entertainer? You are allowed on a song with you. T-Pain. T-Pain? That's not how you spell my name. Oh, how you want it for me? You want it? Oh, uh, no. Nah. No! Nah, T-Pain. T-Pain, that's it. More, he's more entertaining. You think so? 100%. Cold, you rather go on T-Pain instead of Spitz Gonzalez? Yeah, yeah. You know what? We'll take that. Because, down. because, you do, do this thing for me. Yeah, it's not, yeah. It's one of the worst stars we've ever known. It's, it's not sturdy. That, this, and that. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad dance moves, by the way. That's a good list. Yeah. So all these artists here take the crown. Yeah. Especially your brother. Yeah, twice. Twice. Yeah. And um, it was great having you on, man. Thank you. Thank you very much, my bro. I'm not getting a trim because you said so. No, for at least six more months. People, that was Take the Crown. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Remember, there's no rules. Uh, let's go and sweat out Kano's patch. Let's go, man. Kano, you got a patch, my bro.